Okay, here's a video of the 770 tractor I'm selling. I'll kind of just give you a little walk around and then maybe um, show you some features, I guess, and some of the little things that are wrong with it. Uh, so yeah, it's in really good shape. Uh, it's got the front end loader. Um, I've added this little uh, attachment here so you can hook up a truck hitch or something so you can pull things around. Uh, and then I added a little bit of bracing right in here where I made this uh, forklift attachment and I'll show that later. Um, but yeah, there's no, the seals on the rams, everything's tight, there's no leaking or anything, everything's straight. Um, there's nothing really wrong with the body. Um, there's a little bit of wear on the paint just from where the feet are. Uh, and then you can kind of see um, like just some tiny chips on the paint here on the gas cap. Uh, and the dash is in really good shape and all the uh, lights work. I can show you that in a bit too. Um, it's just a little bit of fading right here. Um, on the tack gauge, but really minor. Probably you can't even see it on the video. Um, it does have power steering. Um, here on the seat is one of the things that's wrong. Is there's a little bit of cracking here on the seat, and right here I just put some duct tape on that. So the seat it's got a couple of cracks on it. Um, and yeah, it's got the ag tires, so they're good. They're much more substantial tires than the 2305, which is what I bought to replace this tractor. Um, and I bought that 2305, it has a cab. Uh, most of my work I do is in the wintertime. I do snow clearing, and I kind of work on this community hockey rink. So that was my big reason why I'm selling this one is to get this cab. That's the big reason I bought, made the change. So yeah, it's got the three point hitch, rear PTO. It does not have um, the midpoint PTO. Uh, here's everything underneath. You can see it's totally clean. There's no seals, nothing's leaking. Um, yeah, everything works fine. Uh, yeah. So here is the two speed um, rear end, so high low for the transmission, and here's the diff lock right there. Uh, and the four speed transmission. Uh, this engages the uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, here's the PTO um, engagement joystick for the loader. Um, throttle, uh, parking brake. Uh, here's the brakes with you can do individual wheel brakes uh, if need be. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty well everything. Um, oh, here's the two other things that are, the minor things that are wrong with it. Uh, just this, the lights all work. I can show you the work works, but these kind of, uh, hazard lights, uh, this one is cracked a little bit, just on top. Uh, so I just put some tape to cover it so the water didn't get in. Uh, it's just a tiny little crack. And then on this front rim, uh, you can see it's got a bit of a dent right here. Uh, he previous owner must have, uh, I don't know, hit a rock or something, I'm not really sure. So yeah, those are really the seat, that crack on the hazard light, and this bent part of the rim, I think are really the only three things wrong with it, uh, other than some tiny little scuffs in the paint, uh, but the paint really is 
just about perfect. Uh, and the body is straight. There's no bits or anything. Uh, oh, I can show you the engine compartment. So yeah, here, you know, it's a three-cylinder diesel Yanmar. Um, it's a 1.4 liter, so it's a little bit bigger than all the new ones, like the 11025s and the 2305. They're all around like one liter or 1.1 liter. So it's rated for the same horsepower as all those 23, 24 horsepowers, but you know, it's a little bit bigger engine. Uh, I certainly noticed a difference with this tractor. It's just being a heavier framed all metal tractor. The wheels being more substantial, it uh, can certainly push more than my new tractor. Um, yeah, but no cab, so it's cold <laughs> in the winter. Uh, yeah, and maybe what I'll do is I'll leave this open and just start the uh, tractor now so you can listen to it start. What you can do is on the key here, you can turn it normally to your right to start it, but uh, you can go the reverse direction and that will work as a glow plug. Uh, you can turn your glow plugs on, um, but tractor starts awesome. So I never really need those. Uh, so I'll start it up. Yeah, again in the engine compartment, there's some dust in there, uh, but hopefully you can see um, that, yeah, there's not a single leak, everything is tight, there's no oil leaking anywhere, um, yeah, yeah, it's in good shape, like, I think you can even see on the belt, I think it's the original belt, uh, still got the green paint on it. So, that would be 25, just about 30 year old belt. Um, yeah. So I'll just put this foot down. And I'll start it back up and just kind of show you a couple of things. Yeah, no problems with it. 
lever to raise uh, the 3-point hitch. Engage the four-wheel drive. Um, yeah, it works fine. There's no problem with it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll just show you that forklift attachment too. Here, I'll just pause this for a second and uh, get it. So uh, here's just a homemade uh, forklift attachment I made for uh, just picking up. All it is is just a pipe with some uh, channel iron here that I just have some, uh, I don't know, some pins here that you just go through the side of the bucket. something way out at the end of the uh, forks. Um, it doesn't have a ton of lifting power all the way at the end. Um, and I think it's been a while ago that I made these, but I think I drilled these holes and I put a nut, welded a nut underneath so that you could uh, like bolt on a sheet of plywood or something um, so you could have kind of a work platform. If you wanted to stand, you know, work on something high, so you could, uh, you know, have a Kind of safe, uh, yeah, platform. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, I will just show you kind of the. So I'll just shut this one down. And I'll show you my other tractor that I bought to replace it. This one here. So yeah, this is a 2305. It's also a 23 horse tractor, uh, a little smaller engine. Um, yeah, and you can see that it's uh, like the wheels are just about half the size. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot smaller tractor. Um, 
yeah, like you can tell that the 770 is certainly uh, beefier, more substantial tractor than these newer ones. Um, but this one has a cab. So uh, that's my big reason as to why I am selling the 770. Uh, yeah, hope this video helped you out. Okay, thank you, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys later.